Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about an introduction to electrophoresis. In this video, we are going to cover the following contents. First, introduction about electrophoresis, followed by anaphoresis and cataphoresis, principle of electrophoresis, components of electrophoresis, support medium used for electrophoresis, factors affecting electrophoresis, and types of electrophoresis. Electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is a technique that separates micromolecules in their liquid state based on their ability to move in an electrical field. The name electrophoresis was derived from the Greek word phoresis, which means being carried and originally referred to the mobility of charged particles inside an electrical field. Electrophoresis separates micromolecules based on their charge, binding affinity, and size under an electric field. Electrophoresis has a wide application in separating and analyzing biomolecules in biochemistry and molecular biology, which includes genetic materials such as DNA or RNA, plasmids, proteins, and polysaccharides. Anaphoresis and cataphoresis. Anaphoresis is the electrophoresis of negative charged particles or anions, whereas Cataphoresis is electrophoresis of positive charge ions or cations. Principle of electrophoresis. Electrophoresis depends upon the Coulomb's law, which is simply the experience of force by the particles or ions under an electric field for electrophoretic mobility. There are two forces, electric force and drag force for the electrophoretic mobility. Thus, the electric forces and drag forces aid for the mobility of ions. Biomolecule in a solution at a given pH will exist as either positively or negatively charged ions. When subjected to an electric field, ionized biomolecules will migrate at the different phase depending on the mass and the net charge of each particle in the solution. Negative charged particles or anions will migrate towards a positive charged electrode or cathode and the positive charged particle or cations will be pulled towards a negatively charged electrode called the anode. The differences in the speed and direction of the each charged particle will result in a migration pattern that is unique to its individual property, leading to the isolation of components of the biomolecules that possess similar characteristics. Components of electrophoresis. There are 13 components of electrophoresis, they are power supply, electrophoresis chamber, electrodes, gel, gel casting tray, buffer solution, sample loading wells, comb, markers, loading dies, staining, trans illuminator and finally gel documentation system. The first component of the electrophoresis is power supply. The power supply provides the controlled electric current or voltage which is necessary to drive the electrophoresis process. The power supply typically allows the adjustment of voltage, current and time duration depending on the requirements of the experiment. The second component is electrophoresis chamber. Electrophoresis chamber is the main container where the gel and buffer are placed and where the separation process occurs. The electrophoresis chamber contains electrodes at both ends, that is anode and cathode, which are connected to the power supply. It is typically made of plastic or another non-conductive material. The third component is electrodes. Electrodes are the conductive materials, usually made up of platinum or graphite, that connect the power supply to the gel or buffer. There are usually two electrodes, a positive electrode or anode and a negative electrode or cathode. The charged molecules migrate towards the electrode with the opposite charge. The fourth component is gel. Gel is the medium through which the charged molecules migrate. There are two types of gel. The first type is agarose gel and the second type is polyacrylamide gel. 
Agarose gel is used primarily for DNA and RNA and the polyacrylamide gel is used for proteins and small DNA or RNA fragments. The concentration of the gel, for example, 1% agarose, determines the pore size affecting the resolution of the separation. The fifth component is gel casting tray. Gel casting tray holds the gel during polymerization or gel formation. Gel casting tray is usually made of plastic and designed to fit into the electrophoresis chamber. The gel casting tray often has a removable comb that creates wells for loading samples. The sixth component is buffer solution. The buffer maintains a consistent pH and ionic strength and conducts electricity through the gel. Two common buffers are used. First one is TAE. The full form of TAE is tris acetate EDTA and it is commonly used in DNA electrophoresis. And the second buffer is SDS that is sodium dodecyl sulfate and it is used in protein electrophoresis and it is widely used in SDS phase technique. The seventh component is sample loading wells. Sample loading wells are holes in the gel or buffer where samples are applied. Sample loading wells are formed by placing a comb in the gel during its casting. The comb is removed once the gel solidifies and leaves wells behind. The eighth component is comb. Comb is a tool used during gel preparation to create wells for sample loading. Plastic or metal comb with teeth that fit into the gel and it is removed after the gel has set. The ninth component is markers. Markers are the samples of known size or charge used to estimate the size or charge of unknown samples. The tenth component is loading dies. Loading die was added to samples before loading to make them visible and to ensure they sink into the wells. Loading die contains colored dyes that migrate through the gel allowing the progress of electrophoresis to be monitored. The eleventh component is staining. After electrophoresis, gels are often stained to visualize the separated molecules. Two stains are commonly used. First one is ethidium bromide commonly used for DNA which are viewed under UV light and the second stain is Kumasi blue or silver stain mainly used for the proteins. The twelfth component is transilluminator. A transilluminator or UV light box is used to visualize fluorescently stained gels while Light boxes or imaging system are used for other types of stains. The 13th component is gel documentation system. Gel documentation system is used to capture images of gel for analysis and documentation. Typically, it includes a camera, UV or white light transluminator and image analysis software. Support medium used for electrophoresis. Four support medium are used for electrophoresis. They are Wattman filter paper, cellulose acetate, agarose gel and polyacrylamide gel. The first supportive medium is Wattman filter paper. Wattman filter paper is a support medium as it requires long running time of 12 to 16 hours and low voltage for separation. The resolution is poor due to the increased diffusion of separated analytes. The second support medium is cellulose acetate. Cellulose acetate membrane is a preferred solid media as it requires less than one hour of runtime. Due to this less duration, the resolution of separated bands is far superior to paper electrophoresis. Though expensive, it is widely used for separating lipoproteins, proteins, enzyme isoforms and hemoglobin variants due to 
superior resolution and less interaction with analyte in the sample. The third support medium is agarose gel. Agarose is a type of heteropolysaccharide and agarose forms a viscous solution when dissolved in a hot buffered solution but solidifies as a gel on cooling down. Agarose separates serum proteins, hemoglobin, nucleic acids, polymerase chain reaction products, etc. Fitzert sulfate group present in agarose can reduce the resolution of bands due to increased electroendosmosis. This can be prevented by using ultra pure agarose gel with low sulfate content. The fourth support medium is polyacrylamide gel. Polyacrylamide gel is formed by polymerization of acrylamide and bisacrylamide in the presence of ammonium persulfate, tamid, and riboflavin in the presence of UV rays. The pore size of the polyacrylamide gel can be very well controlled by adjusting the concentration of monomers. Polyacrylamide gel can be used for various analytes such as proteins, peptides, nucleic acid, nucleotides, etc. Polyacrylamide can provide an excellent resolution due to better molecular sieving and minimal interaction of sample molecule with the matrix. Difference between agarose gel and polyacrylamide gel. Agarose gel has larger pore size than polyacrylamide gel and the polyacrylamide gel has smaller pore size than agarose gel. The major constituents of agarose gel are poly polysaccharide which are extracted from seaweeds like gracilaria and gelidium. The polyacrylamide gel or cross-linked polymer of acrylamide. In agarose gel, gel casted horizontally and in polyacrylamide gel, gel cast vertically. Regarding the toxicity, agarose gel is non-toxic in nature, but polyacrylamide gel is neurotoxic in nature. Separation of molecules. Agarose gel separate large molecules, but polyacrylamide gel separate small molecules. Agarose gel is used for DNA separation and polyacrylamide gel is used for DNA and protein separation. In agarose gel, staining can be done before pouring the gel. In contrast, in polyacrylamide gel, staining can be done after pouring the gel. Factors affecting electrophoresis. Many factors influence the process of electrophoresis. They are strength of the electric field, charge of the sample used, size of the biomolecules, binding strength of the biomolecules, hydrophobicity of the samples taken, shape of the biomolecule, and ionic strength of buffer. Types of electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is basically divided into two types. First one is moving boundary electrophoresis and the second one is zone electrophoresis. Moving boundary electrophoresis is further categorized into four. They are capillary electrophoresis, isotachophoresis, isoelectric focusing electrophoresis and immunoelectrophoresis. And the zone electrophoresis is further divided into four types. They are paper electrophoresis, gel electrophoresis, thin layer electrophoresis and cellulose acetic electrophoresis. Dear viewers, that's all about the basics of electrophoresis. Thank you for your support. Thank you.